This is a brief introduction to NeuroGuide. That's a, a software program that will bring in data from uh, 45 different amplifiers and provide uh, analysis both of conventional EEG and quantitative EEG on the same screen at the same time. The list of amplifier companies by which uh, the NeuroGuy can import is shown here on the left and then and that also includes uh, universal formats such as EDF and text files. In the demo mode one is limited only to one file which is a patient that was uh, brain damaged in the right parietal region. And that data is shown uh, now on this screen in which one can then go through the uh, record with the wiper at the bottom all the way to the end. One can also, there's, you can see there's 3 minutes and 48 seconds, one can also click the home key to go back to zero, the end key to go to the end, and page up and page down to rapidly go through the record to identify any pathologies and ep epileptic events and gross uh, abnormalities. One can print the uh, selections uh, by clicking print once one has selected EEG that's artifact free. One can also export the EEG in different formats and one can save the EEG in different formats. In the edit window one can activate an automatic editing routine in which one can use an limited database to rapidly generate or select EEG after uh, eliminating uh, drowsiness, eye movement and muscle in which in this case we have selected 1 minute 59 seconds of artifact free EEG. This uh, quick introduction is not going to go through the whole uh, automatic editing method, but it rather just to show the various types of uh, items available so that one can save one's edits and one can take repeated measures of uh, different editing selections to determine what, that the test retest reliability is acceptable, which should be a 0 0.90 and higher, uh, and other measures of reliability that determine that the data is artifact free. In the view menu, one can change the polarity of the traces, positive up or down. One can change the colors of the traces. One can change the grid colors and intensity, and even the, the intensity of the selections. One can also create event-related uh, uh, markers and uh, open up event tables and generate uh, filters to change the uh, high and low-pass filter settings, as well as the first and second derivatives. One can then compare the EEG to the normative, a normative database for absolute power or relative power, or uh, look at a dynamic uh, joint time frequency analysis using the Hilbert transform. One can also evaluate the EEG using what's referred to as the bispectrum. That's where one evaluates the cross frequency coupling, let's say from the low frequency of delta to theta, delta to gamma, and theta to gamma, theta to beta, etc., which are very important. Uh, and the way that the brain operates. Color map settings are available here and this set of options uh, below this area controls how the mice, the mouse behaves on your your mouse, how the keys behave, in which you can go to an event marker, you can also evaluate the amplitude, you can do screen capturing, you can launch uh, a three-dimensional imaging routine, for example, that allows you to evaluate uh, particular peaks, launch the uh, Loretta viewer from the Key Institute, and then evaluate the time domain uh, z-scores that are existing for a given part of the record, let's say this part here, at time point 34, uh, we can determine where that uh, particular event comes from, which is the right parietal temporal region where this patient had been injured. That's an example of just one tool among many. And your guide. I'm now I'm returning to edit data. One also can collect the EG from uh, a variety of different amplifiers as well as play back a record that you already have recorded and then evaluate it using what is called Brain Surfer, which is a three dimensional imaging routine of Broadman areas and the connections between Broadman areas. One can also be involved with uh, neurofeedback, both uh, surface biofeedback and Loretta biofeedback, and one can evaluate the intercession. Uh, progress. One can create any montage one wants by opening up the montage window. There's 85 electrodes here, but NeuroGuide can import uh, up to 128 channels. One can also generate reports. This is a report selection, in which there's a variety of different uh, analysis uh, uh, analyses that can be done, including burst metrics and connectivity suite, 
uh, analyses such as phase shift duration or phase lock duration, absolute power in one hertz bands, connectivity as measured by coherence and phase, discriminant functions, and also estimates of prediction on neuropsychological tests. And then one can click and generate a report as well as generate a symptom checklist match that allows one to evaluate the status of a patient's brain and then use that information to perform biofeedback. Under the analysis window, one can do bio, uh, by frequency analyses, as I mentioned, save power spectral data, and then open up a variety of uh, three-dimensional Loretta images, the raw scores, Z-scores, current density, absolute power, coherence, Loretta coherence, Loretta phase, and Loretta source correlations, as well as uh, converting the uh, Loretta data uh, that are is generated as occurrence inside different 2,394 gray matter voxels into a form that can be easily analyzed using SysStat and other statistical programs. Neurogut also has Neurostat that allows one to do descriptive statistics of surface EEG and comparative statistics, independent t-tests uh, and uh, paired t-tests, uh, individual statistics as well as the groups. One also can do statistics on Loretta uh, for both z-scores and uh, absolute values for p-values, t-values, individual statistics uh, and uh, comparative statistics, the same as the surface but now it's in three dimensions. And finally under options one can set up the subject patient information, in this case it's a patient 55 years of age in which comments regarding the patient's clinical history can be made, medications at the time of test, etc. This information will be used in the automatic report generator, which is in process uh, of being created for NeuroGuide. Here is the NeuroGuide manuals. If you click help, and there are a tutorial inside of NeuroGuide.